In this video, I'll be working through the question you see on the screen from the Pure Maths Paper 3, specifically Paper 3.1 from Cambridge A-Level exams from 2024. If you're looking for any other question from this paper, you should find a playlist in the description below. And if you're looking for any other paper, look around on my channel. I'll be doing all this on a whiteboard, hopefully just like you're used to your teacher doing. But of course, this is in the classroom, we're on YouTube, so go ahead and take advantage of that. Pause, rewind, watch at 2x speed, whatever you find useful. If you find any of my videos useful, uh, I would appreciate like, subscribe, or sharing it with someone else doing the A-level exams. In question one, we have these two terms here that multiply together, and they ask us to uh, expand it out in, uh, in ascending powers of x. Um, up to x squared, so we don't have to go past the x squared. So how do we do that? The, the left side's easy to deal with. It's just a simple uh, two numbers, no power at all. So we have to deal with this right side. So you, hopefully if you look at this, you, you recognize the question. It's um, a binomial expansion of one plus, one plus x to the power of n, but where n is, is not an integer. So it's a special case and thankfully they give us a, they give us a formula. Uh, yeah, I'll write, I'll write the first bit of it here. It's in, your, it's in your list of formulas, so you do have this. It's one plus nx plus n times n minus one over uh, yeah, two factorial x squared. And that stays going on. There's a, another term it gives you there. So this is uh, the binomial expansion when, when n isn't, a, isn't an integer. So let's, let's ignore the first part of this question. Let's just expand this guy out here. One minus two x uh, to the power of a half using this formula. Uh, let's think ahead a bit though, how much of it we want to use uh, because, um, well, I've wrote actually just the right amount there. They want us to go as far as x squared. Uh, but remember, we are going to end up multiplying by this here. So let's see, um, will I ever need an x cubed? From, from this expansion. No, an x cubed times a number will be an x cubed. Don't need it. An x cubed times an x will be an x to the power of four. Don't need it. Uh, will I ever need an x squared from this expansion? So do I have to go up to x squared? And yeah, I will. An x squared from here will multiply by this three and get me an x squared. So I basically have to expand this up to x squared. Don't worry if you don't think that through at the start. Really just expand this to, a, to an okay level. Um, go up to x cubed, it's just a little extra work, it won't cost you any, anything. Later on you'll just end up not using that work. Okay, so using this expansion over here we get this equals 1 plus n is a half. That's a half. Um, x, now this is, a, sorry I never said there. 1 plus x, this is 1 minus 2x. Well really this is just 1 plus minus 2x the power of a half, okay? So everywhere you see an x here, we're just gonna put a minus two x. And then plus, uh, we have a half multiplied by a half minus one. Let's do a little work ahead. Uh, one mi a half minus one is minus half. Divided by two factorial, that's two times one, which is two. And x squared, which again is minus two x squared, all squared. It's, it's easier to see here that we're just putting in minus 2x everywhere there's an x. And this stays going on, but again, we, we don't need it for reasons I, ju I just explained. Now let's clean this up. Uh, we get a one, minus two times a half is just one, and then we get a minus, so minus one x. Let's see, we have a half times a half, that's a quarter, divided by two, that's an eight, one over eight, multiplied by four, that's a one over two, that's a half. And what were all the signs? We had a minus, a minus, and a minus. So we left with a minus, minus a half, and there's an x squared. And, uh, and there'll be more terms then after that. And that's it, that's, uh, you're getting most of the marks there. You've done, this is the hard work you've done. You've expanded this out. They just want you to remember to multiply by this. So let's rewrite this whole term up here, three plus x, but instead of, one minus two x to the power of a half, put in our expansion. One minus x minus a half x squared plus dot dot dot. <coughs> Sorry. And let's multiply this out. Um, 
we'll and we'll throw away any term that ha is bigger than x squared basically well actually that's one way you could do it you just multiply all of this and throw away i guess it'd only be x times x squared you'd end up throwing away how i like to do it because sometimes they ask specifically for the x1 or the x squared i just like to do each separately get all the numbers out of this all the non-x's so where is there's a three times a one that's the only place you're going to get that so this is equal three times one it's three Right, all the single x's, x to the power of one. Um, here's, here's one, here's one, but how will they be created? Well, this multiplied by the three will create one, or minus three x of them. The x times the one will create another, uh, plus x. They're all the x's. We'll, we'll group them together next. And all the x squares, that'll be an x squared times a number. That's a minus three over two x squared. And an x by an x will also do it. That'll be a minus an x squared. That's the only way to get x squares. Um, after that, they're just x cubes and bigger. Because, again, you get any terms you want. Um, this does stay going, but we, we don't care. Uh, clean that up. We get 3 minus 2x. Uh, what's this? Um, minus 3 over 2 minus another 1. So that's uh, minus 5 over 2 x squared. Let me just check my notes, that is right. Yeah, that's right. Um, and yeah, that's it. That's it for question one. Uh, tricky question, just because they didn't give you, they didn't tell you explicitly used binomial expansion, but really you had this formula in your list, you're just copying out. Not really tricky if you remember that this um, is done, this is expanded by using something like this. Okay, if you have any follow-up questions or if you see anything I did wrong, let me know in the comments below. I'll do my best to get back to you. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.